Hi everyone. In this example, we'll be analyzing the equation of an ellipse centered at the origin. The equation that we are given in this example is x squared over 25 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. So one thing to note is that the form of this equation is, oops, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. This tells us that our major axis is along the x-axis. And our minor axis will fall along the y-axis. So since this equation corresponds to the form shown on the right, we know that a squared equals 25, and therefore a equals 5. This is because the square root of a squared is a, and the square root of 25 is 5. Similarly, b squared equals 9, taking the square root on both sides, gives us b equals 3. In an ellipse, the vertices are given. by a0 and negative a0 when our major axis is along the x-axis. b will give us the, um, the points along the minor axis. So what we have so far is this. My vertices at negative 5, 0, and 5, 0. So right here, I'll call this v1 for vertex 1. And over here, v2 for vertex 2. Now v is going to give us the distance we need to travel from the center the origin 0, 0, along the minor axis up and down. So this means that our points along the minor axis will be 0, 3 and 0, negative 3. Now we're left to find the coordinates of the foci. We can do that using the formula c squared equals a squared minus b squared. c squared equals 25 minus 9. c squared equals 16. Taking the square root on both sides of the equation, c equals plus or minus 4. And I really should put the plus or minus here as well, just to be thorough. 
All right, so now I have my foci at four, zero, and negative four, zero. I'll call this uh, F1. And over here, F2. And now we can sketch in our ellipse. A little bit lopsided using my, uh, my Wacom tablet, which I haven't used in a little bit. So some of my lines are a little wobbly. Okay, but this would be the general idea right here. So just to recap, we had an ellipse of the form x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. We found that a was equal to plus or minus 5, and that gives us our vertices. b gives us the points along the minor axis, so we had 0, 3 and 0, negative 3. Let's make that look more like a 3 there. And then we use the formula c squared equals a squared minus b squared to determine the coordinates of the foci, plus or minus 4, 0. This concludes the example, and I hope you found it helpful.